Yeah, good day YouTubers. Uh, just a quick one. This is a PID controller. I was uh, inspired by a bloke uh, on YouTube uh, to make this um, make this uh, PID controller. That's a PX uh, 100 controller that I bought. Uh, the brand is Boom Rex uh, Rex dash C one hundred. So uh, there's the power button. It's only a little box. Uh, it's reading two hundred and fifty volts and zero amps at a moment. Um, then oh, I've got my. Uh, SSR um, module on the inside, my relay. I've got a, a LED light that shows me that a relay is working. This is the New Zealand plug. A volt cage, an amp cage. Uh, this only works straight from the relay, so this only gets powered from the relay. This one has got power all the time. Uh, when I t turn the, the power off at the, the plug, um, then that power will turn off as well. That's little air vents that I made. This is a 15 amp cable that's running in here. Cool, my stool is a 2800 watt element. It's got two elements, a 1000 watt element and a 1800 watts. Um, also, this little hole here, that's the fan, that's the exhaust fan. That's where it's blowing its hot air out. Then I use a speaker connection on the front end. As you can see, it's just simple, negative, positive. That's the PID controller. And it's nothing on the left hand side. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to, at a moment, uh, we got 250 volts. Uh, the PID controller is still off. I'm going to plug the kettle in. So just bear with me. So we just plug it straight into this. And as you can hear, that kettle just. Blip, it showed me that it's going to turn on, so at a moment it'll be running 0 amps, 251 uh, volts. The PID controller doesn't work at the moment, and the switch is still off. So that plug is wired straight from, from the lead that comes in. So now I'm going to turn the kettle on. So I'll press it on, and now you can see... The kettle is showing the red light there. And it's starting to boil. And at a moment we draw 8.7 amps. I think it's about 1800 watt kettle or 2000 watt kettle. So, um, Another thing is, I'll show you the PID controller while the kettle is boiling. I'll turn the switch on, so as you can see, it shows that the power is on now. The current temperature on the PID controller is 30. It's set for 30. And the actual temperature on the PID is uh, 30 on the, on the probe. As you can see at the moment, the lights aren't working. So if I put this probe, there's the probe here. If I'm going to put it in my mouth, it should come on. As you can see, because it's already on temperature, 
it's not coming on I don't know if you can see the fan there maybe you can see the fan inside the fins the light is still off so what I'll do is I'll set a temperature down put it down to about 25 or make it 22 so the set temperature now is 22 and the temperature of the probe is still uh, 31 so as you can see the light's still not working and the kettle is about to boil as you can see still running at 8.6, 8.7 amps the kettle just turned off so at the moment uh, I've, I have to set it at a higher temperature so the PID can recognize the temperature is higher so I'll set it for about 35 And as you can see, the light's blinking there, the green light. So that shows that it's trying to get it up to temperature now. So I don't know if you can hear the fan. So the fan and the LED light is uh, connected straight up onto the onto the relay DC input. And um, I'll have to go and get the a light to show you. So just bear with me. And I'll have to show you when the relay kicks in. <laughs> so at a moment I'm just going to plug the plug in. And as you can see the light is on now so the blog that I'm talking about is barley and hops brewing uh, he builds PID controllers uh, very awesome bloke he knows he's distilling stuff uh, please give him a bell or go look at his stuff on, on YouTube. He's a very nice bloke. He knows his stuff. So at a moment, as you can see, the light is on. Uh, it's drawing 0.9 amps. You can see the light is on all the time. It's still trying to get it up to temperature, up to 35 that I've set. And I'll get my beer just to cool it down. Um, this is the probe that's supposed to go to the top of my stool, the one I just bought. So now I'm cooling it down with my beer. And as you can see, the light is still on. Because the temperature is lower than the set temperature, so now just to get this, everything out of here. 
because the temperature is lower than the set temperature, the fan is going to try. It's going to try and uh, put an element on every time. So if I put this in my mouth now, the temperature is going to raise and it's going to start turning off, as you can see now. Now it's sensing that it still needs a little bit power, still needs more power. And if I bring it up to 35 degrees, You will see that it only comes on a little bit now because it's already at a temperature and it's going to try and keep it at a temperature. So I want to thank you for uh, Bar and Brew, uh, the person Barley and Hops that inspired me to build this controller. I also lent in the wire here. That's a negative wire and positive. That's negative and positive there. And as you can see, that one is just working. Every time the relay kicks in, the fan will kick in and the light kicks on. And that shows me that there's power going to the element. Also show me how many amps is going to it. 